Self-employment is on the rise with over 543,000 businesses created in the United States each month, with California having the highest number of new businesses per month across the United States. But how many of these businesses will fail? It's a common misconception that half of new businesses fail in the first year. Data from the Bureau of Labor Statistics actually show that approximately only 20% of new businesses fail during the first two years of being open with 45% failing within the first five years and 65% failing within the first 10 years. Since 1977, the small business failure rate has declined by 30%. The industries with the highest failure rate in new businesses are in the construction industry at 25% failure rate, followed by the transportation industry. There are commonalities between why these businesses are failing, and it is extremely important to understand why so many businesses fail so that yours can avoid suffering the same fate. According to the entrepreneur statistics research done by CB Insights, 42% of businesses fail for the simple reason that there was no real market needed for what they were trying to sell. The second most common reason is a lack of funds, which impacts 29% of businesses that fail. But even with so many businesses failing shortly after opening, entrepreneurs still report in high numbers that they are still glad that they opened their business overall. CP Insights reports that 92% of entrepreneurs don't regret launching their business, with 97% of self-employed professionals saying that they would never go back to traditional employment. 59% of entrepreneurs work past the age of 65 not because they need to, but because they want to. And more than one-third of women entrepreneurs say that their mental health has improved since they started their own business. So for those of you who have the desire to start your own business, to be self-employed, to be an entrepreneur, what steps can you take in order to prevent your business from failing? Number one, research and test demand for your business idea, product, or service in advance. Regardless of how great your service is, how fantastic your product is, it will not sell and will not be successful if there is not actual demand in the market for that particular product or service. Next, ensure that you have saved enough in order to cover your business expenses and growth. Plan for your business to not be successful for at least six months and ensure that you have enough saved up before leaving a full-time job in order to support your cost of living, but also in order to support those business expenses that you will incur at setup and as your business grows. Next, optimize your business spending so it is as efficient as it can be in order to avoid overspending and costly spending mistakes. Next, have a strong marketing plan. Constantly reevaluate and adjust exactly how you can get your product, service, and brand out to your target market. And lastly, don't do everything yourself. Optimize your earnings by hiring or outsourcing for tasks that take time away to where you could be earning more. Simple tasks, administrative tasks, and specialty tasks can all be outsourced to someone who can complete these faster or more efficiently than you, which leaves your time to do the jobs that earn your business more. But what about those of you who do experience the failure of your business? How do you build resiliency to learn, pivot, and push forward as an entrepreneur? For those who do not have success in their business, it is not a complete failure. There are so many valuable and useful lessons that can be learned in the process, important connections that have been made with others, and real market testing from your failed attempt, which can help you redefine what will be a successful business endeavor in the future. Don't give up after your first attempt. Find that area where your skills, talent, and knowledge overlap with the market demand. Don't be afraid to explore new ways to build your dream and stay persistent. Accept that it's okay for your dream to change and evolve over time and that one day you will find the recipe for a business that is both something you love and that gives you purpose and fulfillment and also has a demand present in the market to build a sustainable business.